So the uh, the Krishna Temple actually has a really nice boutique, and you can see there's a lot of stuff. What are the uh, hours of the boutique? Um, it is open from three o'clock till five o'clock on Wednesday. From uh, three o'clock to eight o'clock uh, Thursday through Sunday, and it's closed Monday and Tuesday. Awesome. And there's all kinds of stuff in here. Wow, you got a lot of jewelry in here. Someone donated it. Wow. All different kinds of rings, and I can see a lot of those have like, looks like lapis and turquoise and different stones in there. Mm -hmm. Look at all the necklaces down here. And um, what are some of the more popular items? There's plenty of books, I know. Um, I'll get around over to those. The beads, I'm sure, are very popular. Joppa and Mala are always very, very popular. A lot of people not only use the Joppa for chanting, but I've seen a lot of them like to wear them as necklaces. Some people do? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the stickers and T-Lac are always, like, T-Lac's always, devotees use a lot of T-Lac. Right, T-Lac. And the T-Lac is basically clay from the Ganges that they put on their head, is that? Yamuna. Yamuna. Right. From Yamuna, Yamuna River. And, um, uh, stickers, we sell a lot of chatters. Wow, look at those murtis of Prabhupada. They're amazing. Wow. I was just in the temple, just kind of shooting and, and trying to walk through, walk and talk, which I'm not a guy that can multitask very well, but, um, wow, those are some really amazing murtis. Very lifelike. And then you, I actually was trying to explain that, in fact, it is lifelike because there's no difference between them. The image and right. personality. But, um, oh yeah, here are the stickers. And there's always a great stock of incense. If anybody wants some amazing incense, this place has amazing incense. Top quality, very cheap. Yes, top quality, very cheap, and directly from the source. It's the same stuff we usually burn in the temple. So. Right. What time are you open till this evening? We're open till 8 o'clock. Till 8 o'clock. Okay, great. So I have time to take prasad and eat, and then I can come back and splurge. What time do you do on? I don't think we do it again until 8.15. Yeah, yeah. It was at 6 o'clock, I think. Wait, it is at 6. Let me check that out. Oh, wow, look at this. Schedule. Ganga water. Water from the Ganges. Water from the Ganges is known to have um, a multiple of benefits, but it's been used in many cases to do a lot of miraculous healing um, and serving all kinds of different purposes. But um, I don't know, I really like this place. You, you come in here, you feel very relaxed, very calm. Um, everybody in here is very friendly. And, um, you know, it's always nice to come at a time when you're in good spirits, but there's been plenty of times where I've just been kind of stressed out. I've been coming to probably to this temple for 20 years, and this would be a time now where things are definitely good, but um, this is always a place where you can kind of come relax, hang out, and, uh, and meditate on however you like to meditate. Primarily here they would chant the, um, the japa, and you can see there's a lot of books. Bhagavad Gita, which is um, probably one of the most popular, and um, they used to have classes here every night where they read from the Bhagavad Gita. Mm -hmm. Do they still have the classes, Prabhu? Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Over, is it in the Krishna Lounge, or is it actually in here? Okay, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, is it 7 o'clock? Seven fifteen, right? So, the Bhagavad Gita is a great um, man. It's the, the the yoga from the Bhagavad Gita is really um, great stuff to meditate on. And they always have a monk that will actually read some of the verses, and then give a purport and give you some information about the uh, the insight of that particular verse. For kids, there's a lot of things here as well. A lot of books and uh, a lot of jewelry too. Here's some really nice uh, bracelets. I remember when I went to India, I came back with a lot of those. 
That was a very popular item. Um, I'm gonna so just. We have a whole tree of it. Should we get? Yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just walk across the hall, and they've got more clothing things over there. Saris and dodies. Saris and dodies. So we're coming over here on the side, and there's more clothing. And uh, saris are actually very comfortable to wear for the women. Dodies are basically what the monks wear. But you can see that there's quite a bit of uh, different um, skirts and uh, outfits here. And uh, the items actually in this uh, cabinet over here, these would be the dodies. And the monks, uh, basically the monks will wear orange. And if they're married and they have a family, then they'll wear white. So you'll see, um, they call them householders, which are the people that are wearing white, and they're married. And then the monks like Ramapati, who spoke to us earlier, he is, um, he wears orange and he's a devout, he's a devout monk with no family ties. So the Hare Krishna Temple is located at 1030 Grand Avenue. It's about a block and a half off the beach, right in the heart of Pacific Beach. It's been here for 20 years. It's a great place to come on a Sunday night to hang out and really do something different. The food here is amazing. And then again, you can come for yoga classes in the morning at 7 a.m. for any of those early morning people. And uh, 7.15, they have a Bhagavad Gita class. And... Uh, And if you're like us and you just walk in and you find a monk, they'll just throw a plate of food at you and say, sit down and eat. So, you can get more information on the Krishna Temple on our website at www.socalbeachmag.net.